Hey, 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 thanks for stopping by my channel today. I want to welcome you here if this is your very first time. Welcome back if you are returning. Today we have a Trash to Treasure Pumpkin DIY collaboration with none other than the Creole Crafter and her name is Donna. And I will tell you more about that later on in the video. So if you're interested in seeing what I created i suggest that you keep on watching all right for diy number one we have this whole jalapeno pepper can right here and what i did was painted it off camera i used the celery um green by waverly chalk paint and all of the painting will be done off camera i distressed it a little bit with some apple barrel and white but i did paint the can the green i didn't put any base color on it or anything and i'm taking some of the wood stems from the dollar tree and some spanish moss and we are going to go ahead and get this embellished simple all of them are easy y'all all of them are easy and you're going to take something that you would throw in the trash to create these beautiful pumpkins i have some hydrangea picks right here from the dollar tree and we're just going to embellish it so keep on watching y'all now all of these florals are from dollar tree the hydrangeas and um the spanish moss is from the dollar tree i'm going to be taking some of these berries these off-white berries these are from the dollar tree as well if and i did state that the stem is from the dollar tree and guess what the jalapeno peppers are were from the dollar tree as well so we're just um embellishing up this pumpkin really really cute and quick and um normally if you're an oldie but a goodie you know that i like the long stem so i like using stems out of my yard but i did say in a previous video that i would be using the wood stems from the dollar tree so that you will be able to notice the difference we're adding a little bow using some um hula skirt from the dollar tree and yeah that's it super duper easy and cute this beautiful trash has turned into a gorgeous pumpkin treasure okay so so pretty very very high end i'm absolutely loving it okay all right this is a collaboration with the Creole crafter. Her name is Donna. She will be bringing you some good old trash to treasure pumpkin DIYs as well. Donna and I collaborate at least once a month. Sometimes it's twice a month. But you indeed need to check her channel out if you have not already. Now, she is a dynamic. Okay crafted this lady can come up with some stuff y'all she inspired me in so many ways donna is a sweetheart she is a very very sweet person she has a great personality and she loves to laugh and crack a little joke and so i love doing the same thing and we have become some really really good friends and i'm grateful to god for her you know you never know who god is going to put in your path Maybe one day we'll get a chance to meet, maybe not. But nevertheless, I thank God for the telephone and we can chit chat right on there. So we're going to finish up with these DIYs, but you have to make sure that you check Donna's video out once you have finished watching this video. And her channel and her video will be linked below. So let's jump back into it keep on watching all right i am going to be taking this food line i dye salt container i have taken the paper off so you see it here and i painted it using that same celery by waverly from walmart and distressed it with the white apple barrel as well we're going to take another one of the stems from the dollar tree and we're going to basically use 
pretty much some of the same embellishments but I'm going to do it you know switch it up a little bit and add uh probably a different type of greenery so uh yeah keep on watching I want to say thank you to all of my new subscribers. You all are such a blessing. And guess what? You won't be disappointed over here, baby. Because if you're here, you subscribe to this channel because of crafting. Your girl makes sure that she loads up tons of easy, high-end DIYs on a budget. Here, we use mostly Dollar Tree items, sometimes Dollar General, maybe a few other things from Hobby Lobby from time to time, but nevertheless, mostly Dollar Tree, okay? Because we want to be able to create some beautiful things on a budget. Who doesn't like being on a budget, okay? So we're going to continue um, embellishing up this cute little pumpkin right here. Uh, we use a nice pretty maple leaf and some corn husk and uh, we're just going to continue to get her dolls up so keep on watching. And that is it for this trash to treasure pumpkin DIY using a box of salt, y'all. I love, love, love it. It turned out cute. Super duper cute. This was actually so fun. This Creating this content for this video was hilarious to me. I really thoroughly enjoyed each and every one of them. All right, I'm going to be taking this plastic container. I pick these up from um, the Chinese restaurant when I get my egg drop soup, y'all. And I like keeping these containers because they're great for storage. But um, we're going to create us a pumpkin, baby, using the same paint. We did the same thing with all the projects, y'all. And I'm taking a stem out of my yard this time because I need, you know, a little bit of length on my stem, Okay because my stems kind of get lost with all of the embellishing so that's why i like for um these stems to be kind of extended okay so what we're doing here is we are going to um gather up some spanish moss around that so that's going to help um prop that up and make it stay in place and then we're going to embellish and i have a um a pine cone right there and we're going to add a pine cone to this one so y'all keep on watching All right, that is it for this beautiful pumpkin right here. Instead of me throwing that plastic container in the trash. Yeah, my little storage container. Mm -hmm. I decided, baby, to create a beautiful pumpkin treasure with it. So, so fun and cute, y'all. And I did give this one coat of that chalk paint. All right, I have this old frying pan right here. And my husband was about to have a fit because I was taking his little frying pan. But nevertheless, I painted the frying pan white first, okay? And then I came back over it with that celery. And then I kind of went in and distressed a bit of um a bit of it using the apple barrel and white. 
Now the handle was black and I did use the Waverly Antique Wax to give it a brown stem. And I am just taking some um, florals from a pick from the Dollar General and we are going to get this embellished. So keep on watching. That is it for this beautiful, cute little frying pan pumpkin. Instead of me throwing that old frying pan in the trash, my husband didn't want to get rid of it, but it was old, super duper duper old. He picked it up at a thrift store very, very long time ago. I can't tell you how long we've had it, and he not he has not used it, okay? But nevertheless, I think it turned out cute. It's very, very simple. I love that it's unique and high end. And um, it was definitely fun to create. You have to let me know in the comments what you think, y'all. I love it. I love it. Yes. Now, anything in this video you've seen so far, if you like it, give me a big old thumbs up. I don't care if it's just one thing, y'all. That really helps my channel out. And tell me what it is that you like. That helps me out as well. Leave um, me a comment, please. And subscribe. Hit the bell as well to be a part of this family. And uh, that helps you get your notifications so you don't miss out on when these videos are loaded up. So let's go ahead and jump into the last DIY, which I consider the easiest DIY. If I did not mention that, if you're new here, I always say the easiest for last. If I didn't say that, um, I apologize. But nevertheless, this is the last one. It's the easiest and I absolutely love it. And it was fun too. So let's keep on watching. All right, I have this Goya salad and vegetable season. I love this seasoning, y'all. And we are going to create, yeah, it's the package. It's empty. I was going to throw it away, and I'm like, nope, this can be a pumpkin. So I painted it white first with the apple barrel paint, and then I came back on top with this celery, and we are just gluing back the top of it back down to create... Um, you know the pumpkin with some hot glue and I distressed it a little bit you know with the white again and I'm going to use one of these stems from the dollar tree and we're going to keep get this baby embellished so keep on watching That is it. Isn't that cute? Easy and simple. And you would not think it's a Goya salad and vegetable seasoning box. Yes, super duper stunning, y'all. That's it for these beautiful Trash to tre Treasure Pumpkin DIYs. And they are on a budget because guess what? They were used products that we didn't spend any more extra money on, baby. All right. These were already paid for because you already have all these things that you've used. The box of salt. So stinking cute. The jalapeno pepper can. What you think about that? The Goya salad seasoning box <laughs> super duper cute y'all these were so much fun my egg drop soup container mm -hmm. that plastic got turned up baby yes and the frying pan mm -mm -mm -mm. now that is stunning 
I intentionally painted them all the same color because they are all going to be styled together. Okay, I'm going to style them all in one um, little riser or styling tray. But listen, I would love to hear from you. Give me a big old thumbs up if you like anything. Leave me a comment and tell me what it is. If you haven't joined this family, subscribe and hit the bell as well. You don't want to miss out on what's coming next. Thanks for watching the video from the beginning to the end. Don't forget to check out Donna's video, y'all. She's got jam-packed inf inspiration. I know she has it waiting on you. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.